All right. I think this should finish up the May run of videos. Right of the mailbox, give the film to the Elf Queen. Uh... Oh, I forgot something. I gotta go to Jelly Baby. Walk way, way up here. All right, so for Chester, so for Chester, go in the hole. Jokes for women. Women want the joke. Stone him. Yes, yes, yes. On the head. Ooh. Get him. Get him. Oh dear, that deja vu headache is coming on again. Oh, well, it's what the punters want. Still, at least I know what's supposed to happen. Um, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Ah, here we are. In that she did take comedy in vain is hereby sentenced to be stoned by soft, chewy rock candy. What? Taken comedy in vain? How? Oh, it doesn't matter. It does. Define your terms, you fascist. Well, it's for lame comedy, then. Stuff that's lifeless, dull. The sort of rubbish you get when you lamely parrot off other people's material instead of coming out with something worthwhile or of your own. <coughs> Stop that! But you were parroting! I am not parroting! I am parodying! Parodying! Completely different! Parodying! Remember that and then we don't get sued! Oh dear! Stop it! Stop it! Now who threw that? Was it you? Yes. Well? Well, she was parroting. Stop it! Stop it! Right, no one is to stone anybody until you blow this whistle. We've seen it. That's parroting. Stone him! Stone oh. him! I wonder if you were to do the scene before Casanunda. The one who wanted this stuff. They made me do it. I say, shall we call this one the dead parroting sketch? Watch it. I have no further use for that. Careful there, because sometimes I get my mouse and I'll go over to the side of the window and stretch the window out. Uh, now I can go in here. Right, stand back, and here we go. Smoking! Yeah, right? Hey.
Oh, that's right. Um, she's this way. I don't think that I... Is it the war? Anyway, here, try some candy rock. I bought it over from Jelly Baby, especially for you. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh, my tooth. Oh, no, my tooth. Oh, my tooth. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts, man. Oh, I want my mummy. I want my mummy now. Okay, okay, don't cry. Lime scale everywhere. I'll see what I can do to pull it out for you. Wallop. Uh, wallop. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, no. No. Oh, oh bleed. 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 Oh, pain. 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 Arr. Oh, God, stop it. Arr. Bang. Punch. Punch. What are you doing? Uh, um, I'm practicing our next few lines. What lines? The ones where I wallop you on the head. Ah, yes, well, let's just avoid those pages entirely, shall we? Anyway, I happen to know there's no animation showing me being hit on the head. Why do you think the librarian's let me off so easily this time? Oh, hi. I oh. have wondered. Supposed to look at the door. Locked. Now that strikes me as being suspiciously unfriendly. How do I get into that trailer over there? What? Through the door? You mean you want to go through the door? Well, of course that's what I mean. Now what do you want to go doing that for? Because the wall has a solid, wally kind of look. The key, right? Well, I could only really give the key to someone who could provide me with three rooster feathers, a piece of string, and a huge clockwork. That's it. No, I draw the line right there. No quest, no items, no pathetic excuses for, quote, natural thinking as I go stumbling about trying to guess what I have to fetch this time. Just give me the key. Why? I had my heart set on that piece of string. All right, we'll try logic. Now, look, are you aware that there are multiple outcomes to each and every action that we take? Uh... Just say yes. Yes. Right. Well, that means that somewhere in the universe, there's an alternative world where you've already given me the key. Say yes. Uh, yes. So since you've already given it to me, there's no harm in me taking the thing in hand right now. I mean, I've already used it once. Oh, right you are then. Here you go. There. Let's see them make a game puzzle out of that one. Yeah, let me try something. This should work. <laughs> Weirdness would show up in the next game, too. And by the way, but talking earlier about the haircut scene in Strike Witches, yeah, there's another one where Lucchini has a bad tooth and they're trying to pull it out. It was a cutout all the time. I could have just walked around. Don't say a word. Just don't say a darn word. What do you want now, then? I was just wondering whether you were free, that is, if you might consider being part of a very special clicky that we're making. Oh, sure. But, uh, I get lonely on the set. You'll have to find me a little friend. Friend? Yeah, I lost my last one, you see. Friend! Oh, I see. For your ring. A little friend. Right. No rest for the weary. Like they say, diamonds are forever, but oranges are for half time.
on diamond, reasonably clean, all for you. Now get out there and star in my clicky or I'll take away all your makeup and ban you from ever visiting a hairdresser again. You heartless beast. Gee, anyone would think you've been around the world for this here thing. Well. <laughs> for telling Dibbler, you found the babe. Okay. I got plenty of time here before the... I'm getting close to the end of Act 2 here. Ugh. Luggage, why do you have to be all the way over there? Uh... I found the band, Mr. Dibbler. Excellent. Are they good? Do they have the sleek, well-fed look of success? Good gods, no. They're all musicians. Oh, well, sign them on. That's the drawback of music, having to have all these musicians around. I look for... Here we go. Novelties. Novelties? You call these novelties? I've never seen the likes of this sort of thing before. Exactly. That's why they're novelties. Go. I suppose so. I hate it when logic turns against me. Look, can you go and get philosophical on someone else's time, please? Some of us have got a game to play. Uh, the jingle. All right, we've got it. Here it is, one prime jingle, just for you. Hmm, yeah, yeah, hmm. Oh, I don't know. Can you get me another one? What? Only kidding. I don't know, I think there might have been some anime inspiration for this. I found us our babe, Mr. Dibbler. Can she act? Of course she can act. She's a thespian. Yeah, well, that won't matter. That's very trendy these days. Fine. Well, consider her signed up. That's it. I think we have everything. The jingle, the band, the girl, the novelties. Not to mention that the lead actor's out of makeup and ready to go. Right then. So it's lights, camera, angstrom. Don't you mean action? Oh, well, I suppose so, if you think that's easier. Come on, we've got some filming to do. I'm ready for my close-up now, Mr. Dibbler. All right, lights, camera, actung, acting, actinium, I'll get on with it. Cue death. Now is the winter of our discontent, made all the more drizzly by the lack of death. Ooh, to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether to be extremely cool, reach the heights of fashion, and snuff it, or to keep drawing breath and lose all fashion sense forevermore. So, what do you think? I'm trying not to. Ready? Cue piano! Piano? Roll them! Make up! Now we got some long cutscenes in this act. Our discontent made all the more drizzly by the lack of uh, death. Ooh, to be or not to be, that's the question. Uh, whether to be extremely cool, reach the heights of fashion uh, and snuff it, or to keep drawing breath and lose all fashion sense 
forevermore. Ready for the porcelain scene? Um, <laughs> look, look, can we just discuss this script for a moment? Roll em. <laughs> Make up. Now is the, the, the winter of our, of our tent, the discontent, made all the more drizzly by the, by the lack, lack of death. Oh, oh to be or, or, or not, not to be, that, 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 that is the answer. Uh, weather to be extremely cold, reaching the, the heights of fashion and, and sniffing. Or, or to keep drawing breath and lose all fashion sense forevermore. Okay, everyone. The being smashed by a safe scene. And roll em. No, 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 look here. Make up. Now, Mr. Dibbler, now. What? What's he talking about? Nothing, love, nothing. Now look, I've told you before, it'll be far too messy. Help! I want to see my agent. All right, now, Def, stand by for Julian's extra special scene. And cue... Here, here, wait, wait a minute. What, <clears throat> what, 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 what's all this about a special scene? Read your script, love. Here, Julian, explain how this next bit goes, will you? It goes whoosh, blam! Stuff flying everywhere! Did you not tell our boy that there were special scenes involved? I'm not doing it. Oh, all right. I'll go and find a stunt double. Honestly, you get some people in front of a camera and they think they're the Queen of the May. A skeleton stunt double, indeed. Queen Mary. No easy way to get out of here, either. You gotta go all the way. Ah, uh, certificate on the door. <laughs> Where do I get... I noticed that the uh, painting went from one ear to the other. Need to be on. This in the shades? No. <laughs> Certificate, I guess. Just leave it. Just Come on. Leave it. I guess oh, there's a scene you have to go so through. We are dead, then. I should have guessed from the fashions. All right, in you come, brother. Rincewind. Brother Rincething, in you pop. The meeting's just starting. Greetings, brothers. And sisters. Oh, sorry. And sisters, allow me to introduce our newest member. Rincewind. Rincewipe. Rincewind. Wind. Ah, uh, that's just a touch of gas, brother. Happens to the best of us. Poltergast? What? Is, 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 is he a poltergast? What, him, him being a wind and all? Yeah, probably. Any road. Brethren and, uh, brother women, let us now all join in singing our Fresh Start Club anthem, a one and a two. And more, Use the certificate on the door. Use the closet. Ow. Oh. Thy noble mother is much, 
and we will fight with tooth and nails for we can stand and lurch. My friends, we don't have to take death lying down. I see a land where the dead will take their place alongside the living, albeit most of them propped up or sewn back together, but still beside the living, a place where ghosts can throw off their chains and help contribute to a better, more just society, where a man can throw off his head in pride, then tuck it back under his arm, raise his right hand, if he can remember where he put it, and say, yes, I'm as dead as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Aren't you dead yet? Dead? Of course I'm dead. I just can't get going on any decent sort of afterlife. How do you put a stop to a walking corpse? I mean, it's not as if there's any helpful uh, ink books. I've tried me strangling, poisoning, or even jumped in front of a donkey cart. Huh. How did that one work out? Not too well. They're charging me with willful traffic obstruction and being walking dead in a public place without a proper licence. <laughs> Call that justice. So, you've become a member of the club here, then? Member? Member? How can I be expected to be a member when I can't pay any dues? And I can't pay any dues because I can't get a job. Oh, skew. Is this any way to treat a walking, talking corpse? In my day, we knew how to show respect to a cadaver in need of a bit of cash. Yeah, talk to the door. I just because I want to. Hello. You're not, you're not frightened of me, are you? No, why? Oh, I just don't seem to frighten anybody anymore these days. Oh, well, sorry. All right, look, I'm scared. Really scared. T terrified. Does that make you feel any better? You're not really scared. I am. Well, why aren't you running around then? Uh, uh, because I'm scared stiff. Yeah, that's it. I've been scared into that strange lucid state of unreality and just don't seem to be able to move my legs. Rooted to the spot in terror. Me. Really? Gosh, yes. If I was any more scared, my ears would drop off. Trust me on this. Hmm, the world's shyest bogeyman. You know... I'd have been really intrigued and astonished if this had been a better kind of day. A black sheep! But he's a skeleton! Ah, oh, I get it, he's died in the wall. Uh, this is a pun or play on words. Go on, let the groan out, it's therapeutic. I was just wondering whether a career in the clickies might be just exactly what you're looking for. See, the local actors' league won't let you in until you have proof that your family is from overseas. Bloody cheek of some people. Hmm. I'll tell you what. I'll have a look around and see what I can find to help prove your case for sheep in the arts. I'll get some evidence that proves that your ancestors came from distant climes. Okay. Talk. Use the closet. Talk of the black sheep. Oh, hello. What are you doing in there? Apart from being a quest item, I strongly suspect. Well, I can see your point there. Actually, I'd get that scene to you if I were you. Leftover film of the Elf Queen, eh? Still some good footage here. A film of Neolithic sheep artwork. Yeah, it's not particularly interesting, but I still feel there's an award in this somewhere. Who might want... Here you are. Some evidence that your ancestors came from the land of Forex. Now you can be a stunt sheep. <laughs> no, no, don't thank me. Cue death! Now is the winter of our discontent. Made all the more drizzly by the lack of death. Ooh, to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether to be extremely cool... Yeah, they were, um, kind of running low on ideas for this game. keep drawing breath 
and lose all fashion sense forevermore. Yeah, we'll never know this is a stunt double. Fine, everyone. Cut and paint. Ah, this is more of a lark. Watching someone else work for a change. That was beautiful, baby. Just beautiful. Wait a minute. Feathers? It was just feathers? What? Didn't you read the script? It's Julian's special scene. Ah, oh, showbiz. Fame and fortune. I hear you calling. Please insert this too. Oh, okay. I believe the PlayStation version with only one disc. to our audience and welcome to death the latest star to rise and shine in the land of Hollywood. death how do you feel about your up-and-coming premiere i don't feel i am dead what he means is that he's confident that the product will speak for itself that we've got something really astounding really new really really what look just try to appear less skeletal or something will you Yes, well, perhaps you might explain to us just why you feel death is a sex symbol for today's world. Well, Trish, we've always known that the height of style is pure, elegant restraint. And, of course, when it comes to wearing black, he's always been the trendsetter. Fabulous. Fantastic. Well, that's it from outside the Odeon here tonight. This is Trish Looks Good inviting one and all to join me here tonight and get reaped. Oh, oh. Reaped. Excuse me, do they have those chocolate coated ice creams here? The one with the little bits of nuts on them? They only had insect lava flavor. Insect lava? Hmm, some new invention imported from 4X apparently. When's this clicky starting then? Yes, hurry up. Some of us have to get back to bed before dawn. <laughs> Rubbish! I say, this is appalling! Ugh. I haven't seen anything this awful since I saw the Dean in the showers. <laughs> as good as the first game. Uh, even the milkmaid well, is cheering. No, 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 I thought it was awful. Well, in its awfulness, it had a certain beauty. Just as in beauty, we sometimes see awfulness pressing through from underneath. I mean, sure, sure. We all look at it and say, well, this presentation eats its own young. But I mean, is this a fair assessment? Can we really judge an art piece as being awful simply because it exhibits no attractive or interesting aspects at all? Actually, I felt that in many aspects, the film proved to be a very apt, very direct communication. Oh? Of what? Well, 
a communication of just how untalented some clicky makers can be. All right. Well, this looks like it fits. Now I think I'm onto something here. What if I splice in a few shots of the Elven Queen? Sort of subliminal, you might say. That should make them sit up and take notice. I guess it's playing it backwards? Simply beautiful. I wish my smell could have seen that. Rip up all your will. Oh, that was that was better than being alive ever was. Now that's what I call real charisma. He'll go far. He will a real star. Oh, shut up. It seemed like a good idea at the time. How was I to know the spectre of death was going to become a pop icon? Now he says he doesn't want his old day job back. Now he's a style setter. Now millions of girls are cramming themselves into undersized, tight, black lace costumes with lots of black lace, all dyeing their hair black, wearing black lace and black nail polish and deep plum lipstick and black lace and being pale and very, very interesting. God, I hate wearing this dress. What do you mean it's all my fault? Well, of course I saw the game's opening credits. I was there. Well, no, I don't think that's a good idea at all. No, it's just not my cup of tea. You mean, I have to become deaf? Mm. Well, I suppose it'll help me make new friends. Right. All right, time to go. 